And the great thing about a modulation section such as this, this delightful sub oscillator and its various extra CV functions, is that it allows you by, it's, it's not just a couple of switches that you switch on. We have sliders here and we have multiple sliders that affect a variety of things and in different ways. So adjusting the sliders results in sometimes very different sounds. And that is, again, really useful in synthesis, having this level of modulation, modulation ability. Now this was 1977, so this is pretty amazing. You can adjust it. For example, that sounds kind of like echoes. Because there's an envelope applied to the filter, it sounds like the sounds are getting darker as they get more distant with, the, with that which is going through the filter. Accentuating the modulation of the VCF uh, adds to that. And this sustain effect, the number two, where it restarts the sustain with each note, you end up having, uh, because there are four oscillators, and each time you press a note, you're getting a different oscillator, you'll get multiple oscillators in unison. So it's kind of like an almost monophonic sounding effect, plus all the other modulations that are taking place. And that, just using these various settings on the modulation, is not even using the touch response, which again compounds the complexity of modulation, resulting in sounds just never heard. Even sounds from a synthesizer from 1977. There are sounds that were not exploited, not recorded, not made known. Now, I've never heard that on the radio and said, hey, that's the CS50. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying. Oh. 